Oh, like that? Oh, like that? Thank you, Aaron. No problem. Oh! Oh my gosh. That nice was so sick. Super serious, James. What's up, everybody? Eric Oakley of Infinite Discs, Thought Space Athletics, Clash Discs, and Whale Sacks. We're here with Ace Run Pro for the make or break for the major. This is all serious out here. I'm just kidding. We, yes, we are back for another make or break. We're at WR Jackson. One of our, our favorite courses. I feel oh, like yeah. you've talked all about this course. So, I mean, you ready to take down this beast or what? I'm ready. I'm ready to hit the lines, you know, shape the shots, everything this course requires. It should be a good week out here. Absolutely. I feel like we've been pretty spot on at every tournament we've done these on. And I think we have the six holes that are going to absolutely make or break and choose who that major winner is. So let's get right into it. Let's have some fun. Hole one. Let's go. Let's do it. We, we really like to start with hole one because there's always this extra nerves of playing on this first hole. You're gonna have the major nerves, you're gonna have every bit, but you have multiple options to hit. Turnover's good, sidearm is good if you're gonna go that left side, but the backhand hyzer is really simple if you can just push it straight and let the disc fade late in its flight. Once you're there, you're gonna have options, gaps to hit, just have to be good. I feel like this is, this is one that two simple shots can result in a birdie, but if you miss, you really start to have to kind of kick it in and start to scramble. I personally have, uh, have grown fond of this right side. I have in the past thrown the sidearm, very simple shot. I think they're both very good, but I really like when I hit this right side on a backhand hyzer, how easy the second shot can be. With the sidearm, it's peeling away from it and having to throw that bigger second shot where this gets me a lot closer. So just keep it smooth. Trust this nice cookie from Clash. James has got me hooked on these. You check out his Sunny Cookies as well. They're good. Or we go inside and shank it. Gosh. Well, that was a miss, guys. I'm probably not gonna play that one. I'm gonna throw another. Hey, it's first hole of the day, it's okay. Yeah, it's all good. We'll get warm. Oh. First hole, we're good. Let's run it back. Oh, that didn't feel good either. This is obviously my first shot, kidding. No, uh, I'm gonna just go Exodus. Flies just like that cookie. This is just, I want this one to season in to be a little bit more drifty. But I just gotta trust it in that gap. <laughs> Maybe we need to warm up. <laughs> Can't sit for too long. Yeah. Split them. This is great. That's really good. Oh, don't go on that tree. Third time is the charm, or so they say. It's not the charm. Dude, we are so bad right now. Do you wanna, you're good with my disc. That sunny cookie is nice. <laughs> that was funny. We're gonna try one more. Stumped? Yep. I'll take it. We're good. We're good. We're good. So this is that same spot I was mentioning where this is kind of where the sidearms like to filter. They end up kind of around the stump. And this shot is tough because you have a little lane on the left, but kind of going straight at it with something that'll flex, I think is better because it's such a big sidearm. And if it stays too straight, that left side is not fun to be in. That's why you really need to be kind of warmed up on hole one because you're not sure if you're gonna be throwing mid-range, putter, fairway driver, maybe distance driver flex, who knows. Jackson starts out hard. All right, Cookie, you got this. Just like that. That's how the cookie flies. My really shot. nice. Really nice. Nice shot. Had to make up for it after that first attempt. <laughs> All right, we got decently up the fairway. We're left side. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gaps to choose from. I like the big one on the right. So we're gonna go mid through that gap. Why is this stump in my head? Not even a stump. Oh, 
got it. Left it short. Did I? Yeah. No. Circle's edge. Circle two putt. Good enough. I feel like if you had the run up your feet, you were there. Yeah, I don't your know why. It was good. just like in my head. I'm hungry, I have no energy. Oh, it's only hole one too, I forgot. Yep, Yeah, you're gonna have to snack. We need those one bars. It's gonna be a long day. And that is how you start on the fifth tee shot because it took us forever to get the line. But six second shot, sick putt, kind of a birdie. <laughs> you haven't eaten today? No. That's so crazy to me. I woke up at seven o'clock and I was hungry. I'm like, I need to go get food. You're just, you're just a big boy. You're growing. Yeah, wider. All right, hole five, the gauntlet. Probably Hopefully, one of the coolest holes. Yeah, it's, it's similar to, what is it, four at Blue Ribbon Pines, you know, like just dead straight. They, if you don't hit the gap, you're gonna be scrambling, hurting, all the above. So. You know, you step up to this tee shot, you really got to focus. You got to kind of step up with confidence, but also just hope you hit the line. Because if you get the two, you're getting strokes and uh, it can get ugly quick. But hopefully we'll show you how to get the two. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Oh. That's so close. That was close. That's so close. That's this hole though. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try this. Trust the hyzer. Oh, the late drift is close. Nah, that's not it. That was never it. A little guest footage, Aaron Gossage, gonna show you how it's done. The goose. Goose is loose. Oh, like that? Oh, like that? Thank you, Aaron. No problem, I got you. Oh! oh my gosh, nice shot. that was so sick. That was sick, Aaron. That was so clean, bud. I think I can get it to circle two. That's all you need. I mean, that's the thing. It, it, this is a hole where you definitely don't want to bring a five into a play. Yeah. If you come out here and stay, like get your two or three or four on this hole, like you're not gonna be that mad. Yeah. Just don't, don't, don't get the doubles. I wouldn't be mad with a four. But give yourself the chance at that par. All right. Good Let's luck. Let's see what we got. That's going to be a lot better than circle two, bud. Nice. That was great. Love it. And it didn't hurt. <laughs> I like playing the premium plastic on some of these longer jump putts, just so I can play the skip, especially on ground like this, where it's really, really fast. It takes a lot of my thought processing and brain power out of it, where I just spin it, let it do the work. We could. It's eagle in there. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, moving, just walk in slow motion. It's like walk so slow. <laughs> he won't say anything. <laughs> oh, you did got it! Him! And the roll. Got him! Oh, just blow out. Battle putt. That champ. was sick, actually. Did you time that so perfectly? <laughs> ah, that's a bummer for you, though, man. That's tough four. Just Real tough bummer. four. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. We'll see you guys on the back nine. Let's go. Missing. Taking the risk. We have made it to the back nine. We are on the one par five on this course. There used to be a few more, but the changes that we're gonna be seeing here in a little bit 
uh, just showcase how good this course is and how awesome that it has evolved to be what it is. W.R. Jackson, what a place. So, par five, trying to stay, stay as straight as possible, but then you're gonna end up with two options. One left gap that is a super tight tunnel and a hyzer gap that is really difficult to reach it, but an easy play for birdie. I've heard, I've heard stories of Will Schustrick throwing a rock down that second shot. I think he went rock, rock, but I could be wrong. So, miss you, Will. You're a man. All right, let's go Dynasty super straight. That's not it. What's up? All right, Eric's going to show you how to scramble on this hole. I guess uh, so. I'll show you the fairway. <laughs> this, however, looks nice. Ladder! Drift. Good kick, though. Hey. Good kick. Is that what you're looking for from it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah? That was nice. All right. Don't overthrow it because you're excited to be on camera. Just throw it. That drift sucks. Good kick. Right down the middle. I'll play from there because that's where my dynasty is going to end up. Fairway hit. I had the stats. Once the tournament starts, it's just a tournament. But the week leading up to it, you know it's important. It's the first major of the year. You want to play well. The points are worth more. So you. You do what you can to, to prepare to be able to play your best. Um, but you know, once you throw that first tee shot, it just kind of sinks into just being another tournament. All right, where this ends up, I could aim for either of them, of the two tunnels, but I, I really, I'm just trying to go as straight as possible. There's one place I don't want to land and that's just in this middle clump. That's not it, that's not smooth. That's about where your first shot should land. Good. Stay far from there, though. Night. Those are two bad shots. We're good, though. We're a little short of the ideal landing zone. I have a choice to make. Do I want right gap or left gap? Right gap, kind of more of a par play, like guarantee the par. You could still birdie it. Uh, I think I'm going right gap. Left gap is more fun because you get to execute like a sweet tunnel shot, but I'm going right gap. No, I'm not. I'm going left gap. God, that's not as flippy as I thought it was. Oh, just blessed. All the way through everything. Didn't touch a tree. Living large, baby. Let's go. So this is where our second drive landed. It's a good shot. Again, this is where we kind of want it to be. So, but kind of a similar shot from the dynasty. I'm definitely trying, like if I am a little bit farther there, I have a bigger decision to make. But from here, you know, when we're line three, we need to play very smart, take a spice, hit our big gap, and play well. I think that that is great. Challenge time. Challenge time? You don't want this smoke. CTP. So this is that dope tunnel we were talking about. This is like... So fun. This could be a par three on its own. Tell Conrad to look out because this is going to just hit the basket. It's actually really good. It's actually in the basket. Ha! Oh. Nice shot, James. That was sick. Oh, darn. You hit it good. It just drifted on No, you. that was... Uh, hey. That's confidence. That's the best throw I've had within a while. Yeah. Hey, you got me on that one, dude. Nice shot. <laughs> All right, objective from here is just get a putt. You guys should also check out this disc. Finish line pace, James Proctor. His signature disc. Get a little skip. I mean, this is how you have to play some holes. When you're off and you're not executing, play smart. Par is a good score. Not the cleanest played hole ever, but we're putting for birdie, so can't be mad about it. Cash, nice putt. Oh, 
chains. Dude, you stole the chains. Stole your chain. All right, we're here at hole 14. First of the two changes this year. We have a new, new tee pad, same basket location, par four. So it's gonna take two really good shots. First shot off the tee, hit this gap, penetrate straight, a little fade's okay. And then the second shot's either gonna be a sidearm or a backhand Anheuser, maybe a roller. Uh, Lots of options. But yeah, kind of a gauntlet type feeling hole. You need distance off the tee to get any look at birdie. Nice. Satisfactory. Yeah. Birdie's gonna be, do you think birdie's tough from there? We'll see, like I don't know. That is primo. Stayed slow. Dynasty baby, let's nice go. Shot. This, yeah. I wouldn't even like a forehand from here. Mono roller? Love that idea. So we hit the gap. We're a little short of the ideal landing zone. Forehand, backhand isn't really gonna give me much. So I'm gonna try to go roller and see what happens. Easy to play for par from here. Not flippy enough. If it rolls into that stuff, you're fine. That's a, that's what if a, it keeps going through that stuff? <laughs> it's a 70 footer and or pitch. So I've never, like I've, I don't think I've ever been at this point of the fairway and having to throw this shot on this hole. Same shot. Gosh. Well, don't hit that tree. That doesn't work. Goodness. Not it, man. What Good if you night. go higher and softer? Yeah, just higher and softer. Get the 30 footer. Cause you still came inside of those trees. I need to figure this shot out because I don't like what's happening. Do you want me to throw your spice back? Yeah. You want my it. spice? Uh let me throw yours. Good night. Let's go, dude. We got this. Like this is just this is a part of you're, why you're, we're out here practicing. Yeah, you're 30 short of the gap. You can push it. There you go. That was backside. That's part. We did it. That's why I need James here. If he wasn't so good, he could be my caddy and I'd play so much better. <laughs> but he's out there playing him, playing the game himself. We got to have this shot out here. Sits so soft. Bjorg's so good. Oh no. A little long side, you got that though. That was aggressive. We don't want that though. I don't like when that happens. This this putt, when it's here, yeah. and then does this. Like why, when it's on hyzer, does it hit these chains and then fall this way? It's like your your momentum is pulling you here. I don't I don't get it. Because we played on so many baskets growing up, where that was the that was your pocket. That's where you wanted to hit. There you go. It's the same spot. <laughs> Buckets. Stole your chains. Oh, there you go. I stole your spice for that one. Uh. So we are on to hole 17. We are down the stretch and we're gonna hit two musket holes as far as pars. Not even must get birdies, there must get pars because so much can happen on these holes. There's just danger. Talk about a gauntlet like you saw on hole five. How about you add a right turn uphill and just so many trees everywhere. So 17, keep it straight. If you can push it to the top side of the hill, that's great. Left side tends to be better than the right because it's really dense. But if you happen to go really far to the right, there's actually a sneaky little backdoor route you can make out of that. So there are a lot of decisions to be made both on the tee and down the fairway on hole 17. We're gonna show you how it's done.
On this one, I'm between two shots, a backhand with an Exodus or a sidearm with a Flippy Dynasty. Uh, the Flippy Dynasty, I like because I'm gonna be able to see it, but I really wanna get it to hit flat if I can and just slide straight. I don't want it working too far right. So just trust it through the gap, nice and smooth. I pulled it, that's bad. We could par from there though. That's not too bad. And we'll check out the backhand. This old T-Bird? I'm going old school T-Bird, gap hit, hyzer flip, Genius. sexy guy. <laughs> sexy guy. <laughs> Sunday best, he's got his Argyle on. That's not bad. Good enough for a par. Exodus, which is basically my T-Bird. It's like an eagle and a T-Bird had a baby. Slide off it. Ooh. Or kick right Kid. for whatever reason. Wrecked. Dang. All right, well, see, that shows you how hard this, this hole is, is the ground plays tough with the uphill. There's lots of trees and roots, sticks, everything, you name it, pine cones, whatever. Now we have to go be good, see how we scramble. It's either a barrier or a sidearm. I'm gonna go, let's try the sidearm real quick. Too tight. All right, I'm, I'm gonna watch this back because Eric, stop trying to throw your sidearm so hard. You need to throw it smooth. Wake up. That's a message for me. Hopefully it helps you guys back home because I'm gonna throw this shot so good now, now that I have a little pep talk with myself. Money. Like that. I'm gonna pick that other one up. <laughs> I don't wanna see it. We are in a birdieable position. Not easy, but we're gonna give it a shot. That looks sick, James. I think I did it. Let's go. <clears throat> we pushed over into this right side. There are a few gaps and we happen to have one, but this is a type of shot that can cause a lot of issues because I'm having to hit a tunnel that is tight, that is really, really far up there. So it's, it, it gets really difficult on what you should throw. But from here, we've covered enough ground that Par should be pretty simple, as long as we don't hit early. We're gonna hit this gap. Should be a circle two putt to the right. There's so much density over here. It sucks if you end up over here, but you just have to be smart. Gotta have big brain. So this is a putt I feel like you just can't run unless you're down the stretch. Like this is like, there's so much ground action. Wouldn't even consider it. Yeah. I'd only run this if I needed it for something like a podium finish, but I'd almost rather say, let's go birdie 18 to earn it. Buckets. Let's go, baby. Buckets. That's how you get a drop in birdie on 17. Didn't mark it, stroke to four. Again, I think this is why I love 17 is like, and a lot of the holes out here on this course is that you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to earn it on the tee, like on the fairway and on the green, because you're gonna be left with a lot of longer putts that are gonna matter a lot coming down the stretch. All right, hole 18, you just got through 17, now you get this bad boy. Change this year, uh, basket is into the left in the field, par four. 
Same tee shot. Tight OB. Uh, yeah, also tight OB left, right, and long. But you're only gonna get the birdie if you throw a fantastic tee shot. And then you'll be set up with kind of a straight up the hill approach. Um, yeah, you know, gap's pretty daunting. There's OB in the creek right off the tee. So hitting the first gap's mandatory. After that, you can kind of scramble your way to a par, but you know, finishing on a birdie would be pretty, pretty sweet. Oh, bless. Go clean. Go clean again. Go clean some more. All the way out. Cleanest ever. So <laughs> fresh and so clean. Just keep trusting the shot. You did That's so perfect. good. Throw a dynasty, perfect. dude. Throw a dynasty. That's how you that's how you play the soul. Throw a dynasty. <laughs> Let's go. That was so sick. That's a metal flight color glow dynasty, also pretty sick. Bless. That's kind of fine. So so I want to say this, and I think this goes for a lot of people be hyped for yourself i don't think we'd see that enough to where we see people showing the passion of when you throw a good shot hype yourself up because i don't know there's something to build on that we just don't see as much we see all everybody's all business have some fun out there business let's try the berry sign it i think i are you having to throw it too hard maybe it might be if it might be of mid or going up to a fairway i'll know after this one Nope, it's perfect. Perfectly that with bad. The Pathfinder would be good. I know, dang it. You want my Pathfinder? Yeah, let me hit. It. Let me hit it. If I have to. If, I, if James's disc is the disc that works out again, I'm gonna be frustrated. When my disc is the one when works your out. disc is the one that works again, I think I. I, yeah, I just need to trust the hyzer. I was scared of it. Yep. Can I have your bag, James? <laughs> sure, it's pretty much the same disc you throw. I know, I know. All right, so we hit the local route and now we're left with a pretty straightforward approach. If you land here, you gotta get up and down. There's no excuses. You just have to execute, get that three, get strokes on folks. We'll give it a shot. And you shank it. Oh, and it's blessed. Circle two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I might actually be closer than circle two. That might be like circle, circle one edge. I rushed that one. Take your time. In there, go. We'll see. Exactly what you didn't want to do. Mess up your second shot, but you still get to make a cool putt for birdie to win the tournament. Become a major champion. Putts you have to make. Words of Calvin Heimberg. Oh, oh what's up, second place? Second place. And Eric Oakley gets to lay up because James missed. <laughs> Wave to the crowd. Soak it all in. <laughs> Actually, we're supposed to make this putt. <laughs> Or you just send it in Cash. and get the hot crowd hyped. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so those are the make or break holes out here at WR Jackson for the Champions Cup. Very cool. Uh, this is our first major of the season, so we're super pumped. As you saw, these holes offer some diversity, lots of gap hitting, and you got to be good on the green. So yeah. Yeah, uh, down below you're gonna see the winner of the spice from our last video. And in this video, we want you to comment how many birdies you think there are going to be over both fields on hole 17 this weekend. Whoever gets it right will receive a Ace Run Pro Emperor. Is that good? I think so. It's good. You ready for this weekend? I am, I'm super excited. This course is incredible. You know, the changes, uh, 
are good. It didn't really take away from anything. The course is still playing pretty much the same. So should be a fun week. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, make sure you guys are following along. Ace Run Pro's got great coverage. They're gonna be covering FPO action this weekend, which is gonna be awesome to watch. Plus, follow us along, follow everybody along. Be awesome. Is that good? I think so.